So, in the previous video, we plotted this quadratic curve. Now, sometimes they're going to throw in a question that looks something like this. Hence, solve x squared minus 5 equals 0. So, there's a definite link between the curve that we had, the y equals x squared minus 5, and the equation that we now need to solve. But we're going to have to use the graph that we've drawn in order to solve it. Now, if we look at these two equations, then what you should see is that what's happened is that the y has been swapped with 0. y is now 0, i.e. y equals 0. Now, in the previous uh, videos, when I did the horizontal, horizontal and vertical lines, x equals 1 was there, x equals 2 was there, x equals minus 1 was there, sorry, I don't know why I'm saying x, y equals, y equals 1, y equals 2, y equals minus 1, so y equals 0 is there. So y equals 0, if I draw it, if I can, is that line. So that's y equals 0. So you can see that we're saying when is y equals 0 the same as x squared minus 5? And you're identifying where they cross those two points. So it's what you need to do is you need to draw, or rather read off from your graph, those two points, those two x's. So I'm looking at my graph and I'm thinking, well, that's 2, that's 3, that's 2.5, so that would be 2.25, so it's a little bit less than 2.25, so I'd probably say x is equal to 2.2, okay? And over here, I've got, well, I should have reasonably the same thing, but negative, because we've got that symmetry, in this case, about the y-axis. So 2.2 minus 2.2. And that's my solution, okay? So what I want to do is I want to be able to identify where it crosses the x-axis. <clears throat> and that's what the question is asking you to do. It could be changed. If I change the problem so that instead of x squared minus 5 is 0, I'm looking at x squared minus 5 equals uh, 2, Then what's happening now is that instead of looking at x is zero, y is zero, sorry, y is now two. So I now look at where it crosses y equals two. So looking at these two points. And on my graph, looking at that point, I'd probably be going, well, that's 2.5, that's 3, so that's probably about 2.6. And this point should be roughly the negative of that one, so I'm going to stay with it and write that as x equals minus 2.6, roughly. You're given a bit of leeway, but you should show how you've used your graph in order to do it. Okay, so that's how we solve that type of equation.